Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video on the alarm clock. Setting up the alarm clock in Windows 10 and understanding why it might not actually work. So in Windows 10 you've got a nice little app that's alarm clock. You can search it through Cortana by typing alarm or you can also go into the start menu all apps in the A section you'll see alarm and clock. Click here and you'll get to the alarm clock. Now the alarm clock by default will be empty so what you can do is actually um, you know had a new alarm clock. So here let's say that oh, mine is empty. You set up your alarm clock by clicking the little plus sign on the bottom right of your screen. There you'll see you can give it alarm name so let's say uh, um, go to the gym and the time, uh, go to the gym at uh, 8 a.m. And then you'll have repeats only once. Or you can choose the days that you need. So, for example, if you only go to work or to the gym or whatever on weekdays, you just put the days that you want it to work and ignore the other days. Then you have the snooze time, of course. And you have the different sounds that you can listen to basically to see if it um, is the correct sound for you. On the bottom right you have a little disk you just save and there it is it's set to work. Now there's a little catch here. The alarm clock first of all works when the computer is on or in sleep mode. Not in hibernate and not when you shut down the computer. A lot of people don't understand that when a computer is shut down it can't turn itself on. It's shut down. So basically you want it to be in sleep mode so that it saves battery and the screen doesn't work for nothing and the computer is pretty much you know in a uh, sleeping mode. But be careful most computers have another setting that will send the computer from sleep mode to hibernate mode after a certain time. Hibernate mode is there because it's a deeper sleep and will actually make the battery last longer if you're on batteries. So I would recommend that most of the time when you use the alarm, try to leave the laptop or the tablet or the PC you're using plugged in while using the alarm clock to prevent the battery from draining too much. Um, now, how do you change the settings for hibernate? Because that's important for a lot of computers. The alarm won't set, you know, say for example, I've set the alarm at 7 a.m. And I will go to sleep at um, midnight. That's seven hours. So I need to make sure the computer doesn't go into hibernate mode for seven hours. And that you'll have it with the power settings. So just um, go into Cortana and uh, simply type power um, settings or sleep, power and sleep settings. So as soon as you start typing, you'll see power and sleep settings and the system settings. Here you have the general settings, okay? Shut down screen after uh, how many minutes uh, when you're on battery or plugged in. Uh, sleep mode, how many minutes when you're on battery or plugged in. But you'll need to go deeper. You'll need to go to additional power settings. And here you'll see what you are using as a plan. So go to the plan that is set up for you. Mine is balanced. I'll click change plan settings. You'll have to go even deeper into change advanced power settings. And here you go into sleep, you open or expand the little sleep. And there you'll see hibernate after, click the plus sign. Now here's the thing, your hibernate minutes needs to be more than the time from you stop using the computer and the alarm clock. So I told you, I go to sleep at midnight, I wake up at 7 for the alarm clock. That's seven hours. Seven hours, it's 60 minutes for every hour. So seven times six, 42. So 420 minutes 
is the number of minutes that I'll have that my computer needs to stay at least in sleep mode, not in hibernate. So click here and change the number of minutes to the ones that you have. So for example, here I took 500 minutes to be safe. And I click apply. You can put much, much more. I can say 800 minutes apply. So you'll, you know, you got many hours now that you can leave the computer without touching it and the alarm will sound. So basically, um, that's the way it works. You can also, um, I believe, put zero minutes, which means that it will never, never go into hibernation mode, if I'm not mistaken. So um, that's for sure something that um, you want to do is to make sure that, especially in plugged in, I would not touch the one on battery because if you want to you know, make sure your battery works and make sure that the battery doesn't drain out. Um, I recommend that you use the alarm clock and this mode only when it's plugged in. So this means the computer will go in sleep mode, which is fine, but will not hibernate, which is a very deep sleep on the computer and prevent the alarm clock from working. So that's pretty much what you need to do. And as soon as that is set, well, your alarm clocks will work and you can turn them on or off as you wish. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, maybe a video you'd like to see, let us know and we'll try to help you. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.